Okay, here we have a RCA 65 inch. Uh, this is a the model number of the TV is a LED 65G as in golf 55 Aura 120Q. And basically, what's happening is I don't know if you can see there's a red light there at the bottom. The TV's plugged in, and we'll go ahead and hit the power on the side. That light will actually turn off, and in some cases the picture will flash, but in this case, I uh, won't have anything. Okay, I'll let the TV down flat. Uh, first thing we're going to do is take off the stand here. Okay, uh, there's like six screws. Um, there's three pieces. There's a piece here. There's this big piece here. Okay. And there's another piece on the other side here, identical pretty much to that piece. So we have to remove these two pieces on the side first. And then we'll remove our inner back cover. Okay, we don't have to, we don't have to take the screws out of the whole thing right now, okay. But we're just concerned about getting to the circuit boards. The actual circuit boards are underneath this back cover. Okay, so we'll take this off, take that off, and then take this off. And be careful, uh, make sure that you separate your screws. They use a lot of different kinds of screws here. For instance, these are metal screws, and these are plastic screws, and there's some longer screws at the very bottom, um, especially down here, okay? Okay, uh, now it looks like we have all of our screws out, and so we'll carefully pull this up, and as you can see, this has our keypad on it, and there's actually just two screws, so you want to keep that intact, we'll just take the screws out. Pull this off. Um, this may have some glue on it, so be careful when you're pulling on it. Okay, I'm actually going to put these screws right back in here, so I won't misplace them. Just screw them in just a little bit so they stay in there. Okay. Then we have this piece on the side. Okay. Nothing connected to that one. And we're actually going to pull this piece up. Oops, still got a screw in here. There we go. And quite naturally, you are going to have going to pull this through. And you are going to have your speakers right here connected to this back cover right on the bottom. Pull that loose. Okay. Pull this through. That's it. Okay, so I've got my LED checker out, and as you can see, these are the actual. This is the actual plug for the LEDs on the power supply board right there. Uh, there's actually 12 strips in this set, and there are only two lines, as you can see: positive, negative, positive, negative, and so there's uh, six strips on each line. And we'll just double check those. One of those is probably open. Okay, so we'll do our first line here. Positive, negative. And that's 190 volts. I do see some black light coming through the TV and the next line should obviously be the same. And as you can see that one is pretty much open. Okay, there's an open LED on that line and one good thing about these TVs here is there's usually just one LED stopping the whole entire show. Okay, so the very first thing that I always do as you already know 
from watching my videos is I'm going to disconnect that big plug that is the LD VS cable or low voltage differential cable uh, that is going to your TCOM board. I'm just going to disconnect this from, dis disconnect this from the main board uh, just to make sure that there's no voltage coming through there and make sure that you look at it and make sure that this the pins are the same size as the plug. Uh, if not, look at the markings on it. Uh, make sure you have the plug in the right position. Obviously this one uh, is the same size. So, and then we are going to disconnect our TCOM board from our driver boards. Okay, right there. Okay, because actually this particular set uh, it's a little different. Uh, you don't pull the screen off. You actually pull off the entire back cover while you leave the screen down and, um, and disconnect the screen and the driver. And the, I'm sorry, disconnect the screen from the back chassis and pull the chassis up. What I will show you. But I'm going to disconnect this here. I want to separate that. So obviously, just pull it down. Okay, pull it down. Pull that down, pull that down, okay? And then wiggle it around until it comes up, okay? We're gonna have to, <clears throat> there's actually six of these going across the bottom, kind of supporting the, um, what am I looking at here? Kind of supporting the driver board, these little plastic brackets. Take the screws off of each one of these, okay? Make sure you keep all these screws together because you definitely want to put these back on because you don't want the driver board touching any metal right here. Okay, so we'll take those off. Do the other side. And before I forget, you want to take off your infrared detector and your standby light board just unscrew that only goes on one way okay and if you want you can put that screw right back in there but actually this is this screw is actually the same size as the other things for as these other screws so um, I'm gonna actually just put that back in there now another thing I want to mention uh, which is very important is it's got some more screws because we're actually going to pull the back cover off from the top, okay? And the screen is going to still be laying on my table. And so we want to make sure that we have this screw right here. As you can see, it's a black screw. Uh, there's actually three of them. There's one there. Okay. There's one in the middle somewhere, if I can find it. It's actually right up under this board here. Right there, as you can see, one there, okay, and it's one on the other end, three screws total, make sure that you remove those. Okay, after we have our, did our speakers are already disconnected, they're on the back cover, we have the LD, LDVS cable disconnected, we have our driver boards disconnected from our CCOM board, and we have our screws at the bottom and also these little plastic brackets disconnected okay so now we can continue with taking the back cover the entire back cover off and we're going to start with this screw here and we're going to work our way all the way around and take all the screws off okay and we want to lift the back cover right up Okay, you want to, when you get all those screws out, you want to triple check everything. Uh, like right here, for instance, uh, there was a piece of tape right here can, touching the driver board just to help ground it right there. Make sure that's disconnected because, once again, the driver boards and the screen are going to be laying down here and we're actually going to pull the entire back cover off. Okay, uh, it's usually best if you have two people. But what I usually do, I definitely need two people to put it back on, uh, but to take it off, just be extra careful. I'm just gonna grab it from right here, and I'm gonna pull it up 
okay? And make sure that you don't drop it back down on the screen because you gotta have, have a good, you're gonna have to have a good grip on it, okay? And this is especially important right here. What I want to point out, especially when you're putting the when you're putting it back together, and you actually you just leave the screen there and just you and another person will actually have to line it up and put it back on there is not to damage these. Um, where am I going? Okay. Okay, you see these? Make sure that you do not scrunch these little rimmer connectors right here. Okay, as you, just, as you can see, this is what's connecting the, the, the driver boards. There's one over here, and there's also one on the other side. Okay. Look at all these LEDs, <laughs> right? Okay, so let's pull our white paper off and figure out what is bad here, okay? And as you can see, I think I did work on this TV set uh, a few years ago. The guy said it was only a year, but actually it's been a couple years. Uh, so it went out again, unfortunately, but you know, the last couple years. So anyway, um, now when you first get this, this paper is actually going to be kind of like stuck on here. There's going to be a few spots where it actually sticks on here. Be very careful not to rip the whole paper off. As you can see, there's a rip here. Um, so I, it's, sometimes there's no really no way you can avoid that. But we'll actually start like up here. Okay, where it's really take that and we'll just go ahead and pull this off. Just kind of like get your finger there, as you can see right there. Um, it's pulled off. As you can see, our supports are behind the paper, so we don't, we don't need to remove that. Just pull the paper off. They did make that kind of hard, right, quite naturally, but we'll figure it out. Now, what I can normally do if you don't want the hassle of pulling all this paper off, uh, as you can see, there's a crease right here in this side overlaps this side it's just pull like the bottom off like this here as far as you can go without because you, you actually you are going to rip the paper when you take it off uh, they make it like that on purpose evidently uh, so it's no big deal if you rip a piece just get some tape and just tape it back on there or whatever there's like a big piece missing or just get some some white uh, notebook paper you know, and, and you know, use your scissors and, and, your, and your and your imagination and creativity and put it back. This if you get a big hole in the paper, because you don't want any spots in the picture when you go ahead and put it back together and fire it up. But I'll just do it like this, okay? This is, evidently, you can see that our LED test points and our plugs are right here, and so uh, evidently the one that's bad is not going to light up. And so if it's toward the end, you don't have to pull the actual hole white paper off, okay? I'll just do it like that. I'll do this side the same way. Okay. All right, so we have test points down here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, uh, but the left one is positive and the right one is a negative. Okay. And I did check them all just so I wouldn't prolong the video. I didn't want to go through the whole TV. Um, so that's pretty much should be at about 19.5 volts on each one, okay? Okay, I did mark my bad one. This one is not lighting up. This is our showstopper right here, okay? And of course these have individual test points for each LED, which is nice. Somewhere on top, 
So we're actually going to have to pull this paper back at least to this far, at least this far, and I'm going to pull that whole strip off and do it like that. Okay, once again, we'll go to the strip. I unplugged it. Okay, we'll just keep going up. It's got some tape on it, so that's not going to connect. Okay, and we'll just keep going up until we find the bad one. That looks like our bad one there. Okay. Go to the next one just to give you an example. Why right, you should check it. That's good. Nothing. That is completely open. And we'll check the next two. Okay, so that is our bad one. Okay, we'll just unplug it. Get two screws, Phillips number one, should come right off. Voila. Okay, so I've got my strip off. And if you're gonna do a lot, if you're gonna do it like this and take the entire strip off, you're gonna work on a surface like this or any kind of surface, wood or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna use my hot air gun. So what I wanna do is put a piece of foil up under here. Okay, that way I won't melt my table, right? Or damage my table. Especially if you got like a nice looking bench, okay? Um, use something protective. If you got like an old piece of a wooden plank or something like that, you can use that. But, um, so anyway, I'm just gonna release my lens, okay? And as you can see, it's already marked positive, negative, right? Okay, I'm gonna take my hot air gun I'm going to heat it up. Okay. That came right off. Okay. And as before, um, as you can see, uh, there's a big side and a small side, um, but my LEDs are actually opposite. Actually, the big side on my LED is positive. So all I'm going to do now is just go ahead and scrape the trace. After it cools down for a minute, I'm actually going to scrape the trace off of the positive side and make it bigger so my LED will fit on there. Okay. Okay, then what I'm going to do is just put some solder flux on each side there. Okay. Might be a little bit too much. I think my thing got stuck here. No big deal. I'm going to place my LED on there. Flip it around. Put this skinny end, barely touching the bottom. Okay, place it like that. Okay, I'm gonna take my iron.
I'm gonna put some solder on the end of it. Okay, this iron gets really hot here, okay? Let's <laughs> see if I can just put it on there safely. What I think I may do is just go ahead and heat it up. Yeah, a little bit too much flux on there, but that's okay. Okay, let's check it. Okay, that lights up. And I'll go ahead and check out the whole strip. and the whole entire strip lights up. Okay, I'm gonna take some alcohol and a Q-tip or a piece of paper towel, clean that flux off of it. Okay, glue the lens cover back on, okay. Uh, make sure that it is centered. Okay, evidently, evidently we have to move the LED up a little bit. Okay, so we can either, you know, put it on now and chance it or we can just put the, the strip back into the TV, light it up and then we'll try to even, evenly put this lens cover back on where the light is even coming through this hole right here in the middle, just like the rest of them, okay? Okay, I'll just use a little super glue and put my LED cover back on there. I'll just put a little drop dab on each of the little studs, three little studs, don't use too much. And I just kind of centered it over the light as best as I could. And everything looks okay, it looks pretty even. Okay, so I've got my strip in. I've got it plugged back in. Don't forget to plug it back up, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and test fire it up. I'm gonna take my tape off. And I'll probably just go ahead and put a piece of tape right there so it won't, you know, fall down after I get it back together. Actually, it, looks, it does stick right there, so that's good. Okay. And uh, another thing you want to check, too, is to make sure that when you're pulling that paper off, it's so sticky. Um, check the other lens covers. Um, actually, this one popped off down here. Okay. Uh, so just make sure that you double check that. So I'll go ahead and plug it in. Okay. My light's red down here at the bottom. I'll go ahead and fire it up. Get the power. Hopefully I still got my LEDs plugged in. Maybe I don't. Oh, there we go. Okay, guys, that's it. We're almost done. All we do, do now is put this back on top of the screen. Be very careful and make sure that you use two people, one on each end, because you're going to have to make sure that you're placing it just right. You don't want to mess up or crunch, scrunch the driver boards or the connectors, okay? Okay, I have my wife actually help me place it back part back into the uh, outer bezel 
And because this is a little flimsy, I had another little table on the side. Okay, and once that's in there, let's go ahead and put most of your screws around the edges. Okay, start like right here. All the way around. Remember the three black screws, there's one that goes here. And like I said, when you're putting this on, be very careful. Do not scratch the driver boards or the little ribbon connector right there. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay, so make sure and just put the screws back in these three here. Got one there. One there. And then one on the other side. Okay. And then quite naturally we're going to put our silver screws. Back in these little white pieces here. side and also our infrared detector with our standby like uh, circuit board screw that back in okay remember the little small boards that we took off okay now I'm going to put my LBBS couple back in that should go on pretty easily okay then we're going to get our remember the size I'm gonna to have to go on first okay I believe, let me make sure. <laughs> right? No, actually not. My bag. Okay? The actual, the sides come off first, but the actual um, back cover goes on first. And don't forget to plug in our speakers, because if you forget that, you will not have any sound. Okay, you'll be wondering right damn, I ain't got no sound. Okay, so we just take this, go through there, power cord. Okay. Plug in our little speakers. Okay, everything looks good so far. to the perfect spot because we got our RF our, our connected that's sticking out right there so that's good okay then we'll take put in our control panel or our keypad whatever you want to call it only goes in one way quite naturally right There, it goes right in a little notch, goes right in there. Okay. To the other side and put in all the rest of our screws. Okay, guys, that's it. I uh, hope this helped you out for anybody that has this TV. Uh, make sure you give me a like, uh, make sure you do subscribe. Uh, one thing I one other thing I want to mention about this TV is that um, this doesn't have a backlight control as you can see we're in the picture mode right now there is no backlight settings uh, to you know to uh, save or decrease power to the backlights um, so that's another thing about this TV which I don't like uh, if anybody knows how to get into the service menu and maybe there's an adjustment there please let me know in the comments below uh, otherwise guys uh, make sure that you do subscribe and I'm trying to reach 5,000 subscribers uh, by July 1st or 4th by Independence Day. And with that being said, 
Big Dog out.